Hi, this is John Sawash, and in this video, you're going to be learning 10 awesome things that you can do with Google Classroom. I'm a big fan of Google Classroom. If you're teaching with Chromebooks or in a school that uses G Suite for education, you really can't find a better tool for organizing your classroom and designing uh, really cool lessons. Now, in this video, I'm going to be sharing these 10 cool things, but I'm not going to go into great depth on how to do all of these things. My hope is that you'll be interested enough after watching this video to go and investigate these things on your own. Now, if you're interested in a guided overview of all of these things, you can check out my online course called Classroom Kickstart. Uh, this will go over all of the features that I'm about to show you and show you exactly how to use them and give you some ideas for uh, integrating Google Classroom into uh, your instructional practice. For more information on the course, visit chrmbook.com slash kickstart and you can sign up and get all the details about the course. Well, let's dive in 10 things you can do with Google Classroom. Number one, this is probably the most basic thing. Uh, Google Classroom is to help you organize your assignments. Now, I taught before Google Classroom and I would do uh, paper assignments and every class period I would spend three to five minutes simply checking in who had turned in the assignment and who did not turn it in. Those are three to five minutes I will never get back and that's every class period every day for the entire school year. Google Classroom will automatically tell you who has done it, who hasn't done it, when they turned it in, give you everything you need to know um, to uh, track down those missing assignments. Number two, this is really cool and this is something that only Google Classroom can offer. Um, you have the ability to take a template from a uh, file in Google Drive and make a copy for each student. Now again, I um, was using Google Drive with my students before Google Classroom and the process of getting every student their own copy of something that I had created was incredibly difficult. It was insanity what I had to do in order to have every kid make a copy. Google Classroom will do this for you automatically, takes your template, copies it for everyone, puts it in Google Drive, shares it with you. It's brilliant. Uh, it's easy to take this for granted, but this is the most awesome thing that Google Classroom uh, can do. It's really, really great. Number three, Google Classroom has a tool called the Material uh, uh, Content Type, which allows you to post something to Google Classroom, not as an assignment, but just something for students to access. This is great for templates, rubrics, um, guidelines, policies, links to your uh, classroom textbook or any other resources that you want students to access on a regular basis. The internet is a huge place. There's a thousand places you can post things. Post everything in Google Classroom so that students don't have to hunt uh, those things down. Number four, if you are a planner, if you're a very type A personality, you will love the ability to schedule and save assignments as drafts. Um, it's really nice. You can create all of your assignments in advance. I did all my lesson planning usually Sunday evenings for the entire week. Save those as drafts or schedule them and it would just automatically post uh, whenever I schedule it to do so. Once you have a really good assignment, once you've done it one time, you like it, next year you just reuse that post. It's very, very simple. This will save you a ton of time um, when you reuse and uh, save those posts as drafts or uh, schedule them. Number five. Um, one of the things that I dread as a teacher is those makeup packets. A kid is on vacation, um, you have you know, athletes who are on uh, go to tournaments, um, a student gets mono and is out for a week and you have to put together this packet of all the stuff that they missed. Super annoying and very time consuming. Google Classroom allows you to create a special assignment for an individual student that you can assign to them digitally, making copies and posting things that only they will see, not the rest of the class. This is also a feature that you can use for students who have IEPs who need accommodations for your assignments. So you can assign it to the general population and then for students with accommodations, um, you can create a, a modified version for them as well. Number six, Google Classroom is a very underrated messaging tool. Now, if you observe how uh, students, middle and high school students are communicating today, email is not it. They do not use email. And instead, they're using in-app messaging tools. So things like Instagram DMs, Facebook Messenger, Snapchat, WhatsApp, those types of products. Now, I'm not 100% comfortable using those tools in the classroom, but Facebook, or excuse me, Google Classroom gives us that kind of Facebook Messenger feel in a safe, uh, protected, 
um, very well organized system. Students can send messages to you, you can send messages to them, but there is no student to student messaging inside of Google Classroom. This is a really great tool, very underrated um, aspect of Google Classroom. Number seven, um, exit tickets. Now I did this in my classroom uh, as well. With paper, you know, every student would write down, you know, what they learned that day on a slip of paper and hand it to me at the door. But again, very time consuming to track that down, figure out who did and didn't do it. Google Classroom has a question tool that allows you to ask a multiple choice or free response question. That's great for those reflective type um, assignments in your classroom. Very easy to scan through those, provide grades if you're going to grade those assignments. Um, while we're on the topic of grading, I also want to mention some of the new features of Google Classroom. There's some wonderful new additions that allow some great flexibility in how you grade and assess student work. Now we have a comment bank that allows you to quickly um, add comments to student work that are very common, you know, uh, at punctuation, spelling, grammar, those types of things. Um, we have threaded comments for Google Docs. That's been around for a long time. The new feature that I'm very excited about is rubric scoring. You can see a little screenshot of it here, um, which allows you to grade students' work against a rubric and regrade it and show their growth over time. We have that private messaging feature we already looked at that allows you to provide feedback and students can respond to you and then resubmit their work if you're allowing resubmissions uh, to show that growth once again. Number eight, group work. Um, it is possible to do group work in Google Classroom. What we're gonna do is create an assignment, assign it to three, four, five kids, however many kids are in the group, and then create a duplicate of that assignment, assign it to the next three to five kids, and so on until all of your students are accounted for. Each student will get one assignment in their Google Classroom. You as the teacher will see all the group work and can monitor their process um, over time. Number nine, Google Classroom does have a feature called Guardian Summaries that allows parents to see what's going on in Google Classroom. Now, I'll be honest, Guardian Summary isn't my favorite feature. It does have some limitations. The good news is it's super simple. You enter a parent's email address and they're good to go. They'll get those summaries either daily or weekly as they uh, configure it. And you don't have to do anything. That's the good news. They aren't customizable. The messages are not customizable, so there are some limits to it. Um, you need to be a little bit careful about how you use it, make sure that Google Classroom is up to date um, so that parents are getting uh, correct information. And then number 10, the last one uh, I'd like to share with you today is a new feature that will be coming very, very soon. This is locked quiz mode for uh, Chromebooks. So we've had this feature in Google Classroom for quiz assignment for a while. This really just creates a Google form, but the new locked mode will um, create a secure testing environment so that when students are in a Google form, they cannot access any um, other websites or look up information while they're taking a test or a quiz. Now the one um, caveat to this is this feature will only work on managed Chromebooks. So if you're teaching with iPads or PCs or Macs, uh, this feature won't work for you, but if you're on Chromebooks, you'll be good to go. It's a great feature. I've tested it extensively. It really does a great job. Those are 10 quick ways that uh, Google Classroom can help you in the classroom. Hopefully you'll uh, investigate some of those and implement them into your own class. If you're interested in a guided um, overview of all 10 of those, you can uh, register for my online course, Classroom Kickstart. Again, uh, details for that are available at chrmbook.com slash kickstart. Thanks a lot. I hope you enjoy using Google Classroom with your students.